Welcome to the Labyrinth. I am your host, Pratham Padav. Uh, if you like this podcast or if you find it useful, please hit the subscribe button. My guest today is Kartika Dube. She's a certified life coach. She's a dance therapy coach. She lives a very natural and minimalist lifestyle. She lives off-grid. And she has a very beautiful YouTube channel called Expand Love. So she's here with us to expand her love. Uh, Kartika, welcome to the Labyrinth. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was such a beautiful introduction. I'm very happy to have uh, this conversation with you and share my experiences. So, yes. firstly, tell us your secret. How are you so happy all the time? Because I see you <laughs> smiling so much. <laughs> oh, um, I can. I think it's love. Like love is the answer that I could give. Um, I went through like really tough time mentally around maybe four years before. I I've lost track of time because <laughs> life is too good now. But at that time, um, I uh, basically realized the power of self-love through Louis Hay. And I did a lot of practices just to like, you know, uh, be in a safe and loving space for myself and for others. And this, like, it just changed my life completely. <laughs> like, um, everything changed, you know, after that. And also just realizing that, you know, our thoughts are creating our reality. What we're feeling inside is what is manifesting in the world outside. So just keeping my inner space, you know, loved and loving <laughs> is the answer for all the happiness, I think. So what kind of practices did you uh, commit to to be so happy? Well, uh, number one was affirmations, which I also talk a lot about in uh, my, you know, coachings. So just simple statements that you can use to create a space in your subconscious mind. So, for example, if you tell yourself that I truly and deeply love myself or I'm divinely protected, guided and provided. So what happens is that as you think a thought like this, you learn how to think it throughout the day. So not only when you're saying your affirmations, you are sending out this energy, but you're also learning to change your thought processes. And as you change your thought processes, you know, your uh, outside, outside changes as well, as I said. Uh, this was one of the most, uh, you know, useful things that I did. Other than that, I was uh, meditating, of course, releasing a lot of like, you know, traumas that I had from my childhood. So like lots of things that we carry and we are not aware of uh, in the subconscious mind, you know, they're there and like they're constantly pushing us down and creating lots of fears. So the opposite of fear is love. So releasing those traumas through tips is what I did. And uh, then, of course, lots of breathing exercises. Dancing was like a really important part of it. Like just like, you know, being in a higher vibration through doing something. And then from that point, you can think better. If, you're, if your energy is good, like through movement, basically getting into a good energy, using your body to be in higher state. And then after that, you can manage your mind. You know, if things are happening, I had like lots of uh, patterns that were just like going on and on. And if uh, like, you know, if I could be in a good space through my energy, I could heal my mind also through it and like, you know, change my patterns really easily. Right, right. And you just said that. So, yeah, these are the. Yeah, go ahead. You just said that uh, earlier you were, uh, you know, not in a very pleasant uh, space. You went through some trauma and now you are in a much uh, better space. When did this transformation happen and how, how did you go through this transformation? So, actually, I was always a very spiritual person. Like, spirituality was uh, like, even when I was a child, I was, uh, you know, always curious about like nature of life and what is happening, how, who is God, how are we created, what is happening, you know. So, and I was like interested in moral science class. <laughs> so boring, I, you know? I think you're the only person to say that you're interested in moral science class. <laughs> I, I I know I used to go to these uh, satsangs with my grandma and used to enjoy this so much. <laughs> You're the first person to say something like that, you know. <laughs> I know as a child, you know, so uh, yes, so I had lots of interest in uh, spirituality and that also like just uneasiness inside working in corporate, I started traveling. 
and I had friends who were so supportive like you know just they, they were like yeah yeah go travel so then I was traveling for one and a half years in India and then I was like why am I living in Delhi with all of this pollution and everything so then I moved to Goa with my friends only and then when I was living in Goa my house was open to like any travelers you know and they were just coming in and going and at that time like I kind of like um, was not doing anything and uh, I think I didn't have much purpose in life like I had uh, money I had like very good friends I had uh, dogs and cats and my house was amazing there was a forest behind but just like inside was not really good so uh, I was just like uh, really really like uh, just like thinking about all my fears and like just going down and down and not realizing what to do so then I as I said I came across like you know uh, Louis Hay and then I started uh, tra- traveling again and um, like traveling was the only thing that used to make me happy and I knew no one else could like help me out as well I knew it so then I started practicing everything that was there in the book because I needed help you know and no- nothing outside was able to help me and at that time I promised myself that no matter what I'm going to like uh, Uh, be in my highest state and like you know create my highest life and uh, one of the major motivators was also to be an example of a good life you know and uh, uh, like because I I lost all purpose in life what to do you know it's like everything you have (laughs) so like this was like okay I can give something you know to the world and I was like a good life you know how to live a good life as a human it's like we don't know And it's possible, like something inside me told me at that time, it just seemed so impossible. But uh, like something inside me was like, you know, you know it and it's possible to live a good life, like a really good life. And then I just kept following, kept the practices. Love, as I said, was the most important factor, like the love, like energy of love is gives you everything. And that's what we're longing for. Like when we are connected with our inner self, with our like, you know, outside with friends and family or nature. If we are feeling connected, we are feeling one with everything or not just one with everything, with something you are connected, you know, then you're good. Otherwise, as soon as you feel disconnected and isolated, life is problematic. So I just, uh, you know, kept following all these things and uh, just universe, man, it just teaches you. It gives you everything. It's like amazing, man. (laughs) It's like you change your reality (laughs) once you level up. Just through love, you know, there's no magic. I mean, everything is magic. <laughs> One second. Uh, yes. So, um, yeah, like everything becomes magic, actually. It's like, uh, yeah, love is everything. Uh, I can keep saying it again and again, you know. If we can follow the path, let it be our guide. Everything is taken care of, man. Life is beautiful. <laughs> and you are an example for living a good life. You really are. Oh. <laughs> and uh, when did you begin your journey into off-grid living and uh, natural living? So, uh, again, I was very, very blessed. Uh, I was living in Vietnam uh, before uh, Corona started. So I left Vietnam in December, December, right? No, January 2009, 2020. And basically, I am a part of this community called Gaia. It's by my, like, the founders of the community are Eustace and Vishnu, who are, like, my best friends. Uh, and I, I could say, like, I'm also, like, you know, one of the most integral members of the community, like, basically allowing it to, you know like reach as many people for good things to happen and so they had started their base in Palani Hills and when I was living in Vietnam I visited my my friend Vishnu asked me to visit like you know just to see what he's doing in my summer break so I came and stayed with them for a uh, for a month and uh, it was incredible man we just had a mud house and it was like completely away from the society I had to walk like you know 10 minutes to reach there the view was amazing the place was amazing and it was like I was like wow and yeah and you don't need anything in life so I had basically gone to Vietnam to travel and work and to save and then when like I came here and I saw everything and then my friend they were just starting with the community at that time and Vishnu he's like one of my very very like the, one of the closest people to me uh, he uh, told me that I could come and start living there with them 
so in january 2000 actually february january i was in bangalore and february 2020 very much in the beginning i uh, just moved here to move to this like you know place which would belong to the community and then after that now i have my land i have my stuff everything sorted out you know like <laughs> yes like uh, in one and a half years no yes more than an uh, one and a half years so uh, yeah i started living then only i started and everything had begun begun then and then we went i went through lots of transitions changes struggles and you know amazing moments most of it was like 99.9 was like blissful um uh, one person struggle is there <laughs> in everything so that happened yes so how do you live there do you grow your own food yes so i i i haven't been able to uh, grow to start eating everything by like whatever i'm growing uh, there of course we are harvesting a lot of things um, and we we what the the aim is to have food forest and to you know be completely self sustainable so to be able to you know uh, get everything from the land so not just food but also um one second <laughs> also uh, water from the land and then even you know the power, we are already off the grid so we have a 3 kilowatt system right now uh and what else nothing else you need no <laughs> just like house <laughs> house <laughs> yes a uh, what kind of a diet do you follow because i know you don't eat processed food you only eat natural food right yes i'm i'm only eating raw food i don't eat any salt no sugar nothing no spices so i eat fruits i eat veggies uh i eat nuts and seeds that's it is it hard to live like that <laughs> no it's the most easy <laughs> easiest thing to do you know i don't have to cook i just go and <laughs> take the food and eat it's like i was i never like cooking and i was just thinking about it yesterday you know sometimes it like because my friend he's been like you know really guiding me into the path like he's been eating raw food for a long time and sometimes i'm like you know like just arguing you know so why am i doing this <laughs> just out of nowhere you know and then i'm like man if i had to like just uh, put in a little bit of effort for making my food i am like i've not done it much in my life so it's the easiest thing for me even when i was traveling in europe it was so easy and cheap i could just go to the supermarket like you know buy your fruits and you're done like that's it you eat <laughs> so uh cravings come but like uh it's easy if you do a juice fast i did a juice fast for 60 days and like after that um, you know your bi- microbiome changes and like you know what you crave is also um, like the f- what you're made of so like 60 days if i'm made of fruits and you know um greens and everything so like it just becomes easier i do like sometimes like when i smell i just like to smell you know cooked food <laughs> because it reminds me of like mom and like my old things but now if i have to eat i don't have like such a strong uh, you know desire to eat i don't think i would eat it also i am i'm now starting to see all these things not as food as well because um, like uh, uh, we we are meant to really we are frugivores and we are meant to eat like you know natural food instead of like you would never like process the rice if you were living in a natural environment it would be so difficult so uh, and all the spices that we put oil that we put there's so much difference in the way i feel uh, how healthy i feel how my body is like i'm like really relaxed about my health because i just feel so good you know so all of these factors and, and the things that i can also do uh, it's like uh, so much more than before so like just my actions are more i'm more calmer and my mood is like so much better because of changing my food so all these things really inspire me and i don't feel like you know uh, going to like normal normal food that i don't really think is food especially like the things that we get in packets you know it's like chips and all. <laughs> like is it food really i don't know <laughs> i don't know you know we like harming our body so much not thinking like, like humans don't think so much i think now these days yeah, i think uh, many of us have a I think many of us have a discipline problem. Even I can't think how how difficult it would be for someone like me. But I think you are like an inspiration for many of us. But do you ever feel like uh, 
uh, do you ever get concerned what if i feel sick what if i fall sick in a place like this hmm. yeah that's the thing you know it's like uh, i did think about all these things uh, before like moving because of course you want to be safe and stuff uh, i think that as as i said i want i living in fear is something that i don't want to do i just get one life and i'm i've seen so much in terms like of if you just have inner faith things is falling in place you know uh even if you're in a city first of all i don't like being dependent to hospitals it's like something that i don't believe in much at all it has its own purpose to serve if like you know someone has a broken arm or something you know blessings to everyone <laughs> but uh, uh, then it has its own purpose to serve but i really love to be dependent on my inner self you know for my health like uh, i want i i i have confidence that you know through my mind and through my you know just like the actions that i do i'm going to be i'm going to stay in good health i um, don't believe that uh, taking like drugs from outside which are you know from the hospitals is going to benefit my health in any way so since i believe in holistic you know health uh plus like i think uh, uh having a community like you know around you is so good it just keeps you in good health and it just keeps you like chilled out as well you know it's like about things and 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 because we're creating our reality i also create that you know that i'm going to be always in good health and you know like my surroundings are enough for me to uh, help me Uh, stay vibrant and safe and everything i don't hospitals are not, not very pro <laughs> hospitals <laughs> speaking of hospitals this is one question that i ask a lot of my guests especially from this community from an open minded uh, people what do you think about the paranoia that has come in the past one year thanks to this uh, pandemic yeah i think it's a uh, um you have spoken with johan you know his point of view i agree like with most of the things that he says um i think it's a new world order that's been created and it's to con- get control over the population there's a lot of depopulation agenda that is there uh you know uh to just reduce the population and get the like there are people in power who are trying to get all the resources to take you know all the land like people have plans to take the land later and then just in terms of there's a lot of uh, uh, wealth transfer that is happening and i've read up like there no there's nothing that proves that masks are good for us that lockdowns are going to help like uh, uh, decrease the disease i don't know if there's something that is making people sick but i know that the contagion like you know is doesn't exist it's never been proven and uh, d- don't know how like you know all the people are uh, falling sick but most of it is psychological like if you put you know all these every time you're calling like you know oh coronavirus and like, you know you go to uh, outside in the beginning i would go outside you know i'm in such a good space and oh you sanitizer first of all i don't want to put this in my hand and for you creating an environment of fear for people you know and it, as i said we're creating our realities we're spiritual beings you know and like whatever is going out is coming back to us all the time if you're thinking of something you will fall sick and already with all the like lifestyle that we're living in especially that i realize it now that i'm living in nature so much is that everything is creating stress in the body everything you know like sitting so much on the laptop we don't exercise the air is not fresh mm-hmm. then there like people are like already like yeah people are already like mentally not feeling good they're not like uh, everything around us like taking so many drugs antibiotics are just like given like candy you know <laughs> preventive measures <laughs> it's like it's it's to be used when you're dying <laughs> and then you take antibiotic for prevention you know so like the people are already ha- going through so much mental struggle you know and then you put in one more thing that in the air <laughs> there's something that's going to kill you and like when there is no government news coming out everything is okay everything everyone is going hugging like you know there's no six feet as soon as the propaganda starts everyone is scared and then people they they themselves are acting as their army you know right. like uh, they just right, yeah. they get, yeah, they get like, really scared sorry but even uh, yeah, yeah. with with what's happening in the us around 6 lakh people uh, died of covid but to the average person who died had around four comorbidities like obesity diabetes and it's it's like 
talk about that also no like why, why yeah. isn't anyone talking about that i think our uh, diet we eat so much crap we eat so much garbage we sit inside and because of lockdowns we don't go outside at all and no one seems to be talking about that yeah exactly it and it's it's man it's so much propaganda and people need to start thinking like i completely understand the normal public you know what they're going through it's like they are nice people they trust the information that comes to them but people need to start thinking you know about themselves about their family about their tribes about their community we have the, especially the people who know we have the uh, responsibility to spread the information and take care of each other so uh yeah that i mean and also as i said you know it's like if we stay in the house like social connections are so important for us and we're disconnected you know it's like rather like be a free being yeah, than than you know uh be stuck in a house and be live in fear all your life man how that's not good life i just rather go out and be like i can fight the disease you know if there is something i don't know if there is something <laughs> and uh, okay. uh, staying isolated also causes so much mental health illnesses i don't want to yeah. be isolated exactly you know as i said like connection is everything it's like if you're sick and you have love in your life you heal you know it's like uh, you have you have serotonin that comes it's like we uh, we are spirits and we are made of love as soon as you connect with love things fall into place and you know what is love is just like you and me you and other people you and animals you and nature you and yourself you know and uh, i think we are here to also learn how to uh love more so like this doesn't make sense you know at all I'm talking about love so much <laughs> yeah speaking of uh, yeah. health speaking of health i want to talk a little bit about uh, wim hof breathing because i know you do that as well uh, last year yes. when i was i i think i was under a lot of stress or something when i would go to sleep i would wake up in the middle of my sleep and i would start hyperventilating i would be like <gasps> i would go like this and i didn't know what to do about it but then fortunately few days later i found this thing called wim hof breathing on youtube and i started practicing it regularly and uh, after a while i could breathe so much easily my stress got reduced so why did you start doing wim hof breathing actually that was also uh, when did i start i started when i was traveling Uh, one of my friends told me so this was also a time when i was working a lot on myself and uh, but there's a friend of mine from australia uh, tony he was the first one to introduce me and uh, such a beautiful guy uh, he's also like you know doing his spiritual war in australia i spoke with him there's so many things that are going really hard uh, in australia they're really trying to bring in technocratic you know country um but yeah anyway that's a different thing so he gave told me first and then uh, when i was in vietnam uh, i was also like not feeling so good there's also pollution over there and uh, i had this um, th- this is the time when i started actually fasting as well so i had this uh, problem <laughs> abs say okay so i got a pimple so it was very painful so i was like whatever you know it's like um, Uh, it's called abscess it's different it's bigger than a pimple like a phoda in hindi we say and i was like whatever you know it's okay and then one day i woke up and i i had chest pain and everything so uh, i uh, went to the doctors and you know the doctors told me that <laughs> really sick and whatever like lots of things they told me they gave me antibiotics and it didn't help it helped at that time uh, and i'm not sure if that helped or i was already feeling better so and then uh, i came back and then again one more pimple came and after that i was like this like i'm taking antibiotics it's not helping so i realized that i need to start working on my health so i started fasting i started doing the wim hof breathing and all these things i uh, you know got in place and wow yeah man it helps with the mood so much it helps with like healing so much it's amazing i did it today also i do it man <laughs> so especially with the push ups it just like if you have not slept enough or something it really like rejuvenates you it gives you so much life force which is coming from the raw food from air from sun you know all life force is something that prana and i think when we oxygenate you know our body so much it's like you have life force and that's the healing power of the body so yeah <laughs> that's been my journey i've been doing it for a really long time now <laughs> tell me how dance therapy works because i know that one of 
one of the most important thing about your morning routine you just is just start dancing just like that yes <laughs> yes yes actually i'm making some videos on that that also last uh, uh, two three days i made videos of dancing uh, uh, i think how dance therapy works for me is again uh, it puts me in a state uh, of love you know i can through my movement change my energy and put it into a loving energy so it's like you know the way i move my hands the way, the way i would move my body it's like whole of my being without any thought processes just the process of my body uh, you know gets into a loving unconditional loving energy you can say compassion as well and uh, i can flow in that state you know and when i vibe out that energy is just like life is so easy i think i also connect with my uh, you know higher self through that um is you come in the present moment you know and you can train yourself like to just be in the space that you are in and there's so much energy that i can feel you know and you can move energy around so most of it is that the flow that you can get in you can get in the present moment um most of the therapy comes through that you can like you know you can uh, release a lot of things so this there's something st- stuck you know so there's energy stuck also and uh, you know then the energy is moving so and then you can bring in the energy that you want also like i use a lot of affirmations when i'm uh, dancing as well so like you know just appreciating yourself when you are dancing and you can see how your uh, one second at the start so you can see how your uh, movements would change depending on what thoughts you're giving so if you're giving yourself very kind comforting and loving thoughts your you know movement changes it becomes more in the flow so and pl- of course as you're moving you're also uh, uh, producing endorphins and you're pr- producing you know happiness hormones because you're just like get into action so there is a therapy that's been that like you know basically you're changing your actions instead of like trying to change your mind and this is part of that you know it's like uh, just uh, do things that you really love and when you do that you're creating more space in your life to um, like for uh, higher energies and like th- there is less of the time that you give into things that uh, are not useful for you and i think it's like you know it's like uh, the more of y- you do something and focus on it increases so like there's so many things that are involved in it but it was a very um, no one taught me ever what to do and it was very 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 spiritualistic you know um uh, for me to just like go out and just express myself and then just you know, connect with something inside and then just like keep be in the flow and just knowing that this flow is healing me and is bringing in you know good things in my life and uh, yeah it's just so beautiful man it's like really really beautiful <laughs> that's, uh, that's very interesting and uh, yes. for a person who decides to leave the city who is just fed up of the city and they want to live off grid they want to live to a, go into a rural community that's more na- natural uh, do you think it's practical for them and what kind of uh, advice would you give them it's definitely practical we can create anything that we want to uh, in life uh, advice would just be uh, just work on your inner space because everything is created from your inner space we don't need much in life what do you need we need food um, and if you have come till the uh, till certain point in your life it will never be that you know you will not be able to have food like you can always get food you know and then you need shelter uh, like i'm just talking about the worst case scenarios what are people scared of you know uh, shelter is also like if you have friends you are able to watch this uh, youtube video i'm sure like there will never be a dearth of shelter for you right water is also there these are the three things that you need truly so work on your inner self work on your health work, work on your mental space you know and if you can take care of all these three things i think you can just go and embark on the journey you i i saved money i invested in everything uh, but i don't think it's important i have so many friends around me who have not done that and still they are uh, able to live a free life there is nothing more beautiful than freedom in life and as i said you know like love so um, you know we can have all the material comforts and everything but if we don't have freedom and love in our life like life doesn't is not worth living so take the step 
by starting to work on your inner self and um, beautiful things will follow you know um, whatever we desire for if we can create like a high space okay you know i will get the not will but like as i use affirmations for myself you know that i'm divinely guided and provided every step that i take is in like you know my highest good i'm always moving from highest good everything that i need comes to me uh, in the perfect space uh, sequence and time i'm living my highest life you know uh, um, all those things that if you can fill up your mind body and soul with like you know uh uh all these things and of course like there has to be emptiness as well don't just like clutter up your mind with things <laughs> but you know what i mean do you get an idea it's like uh, it's all the inner game that you have to master and uh, you'll get all prosperity you'll get all abundance you don't have to struggle you know you don't have to think about food as well everything will come there like so much will come with not just food and like shelter and everything but uh, all the passions that you want to follow everything that you want to give out to the world and all the you know abundance that you want to live in everything comes you know if we can just create a good space inside <laughs> yes. now now you're you're in nature all by yourself do you ever get bored how do you entertain yourself if you get bored uh so i'm not living by myself uh, i have i'm living with uh, three people in in my own property like uh, there are two other people who live and also locals they know they come and work and they are my friends you know um i never get bored i don't know how time flows i'm looking at you know <laughs> actually like you know creating more uh, space and time for myself and there's always something you know we creating a food forest also so like there's so much input that has to go in there sometimes like i i also work on the field creating my youtube videos there's so much that i want to give out to the world and there's so much uh, just like being you know every day is like just everything flows it's just like be in the space and uh, i never get bored man <laughs> i never get bored <laughs> you do all these yes. diff- you all you do all these different things which for normal people it's very weird but for you it's actually very useful like one thing yes. that i uh, really try to follow is uh, barefoot walking when yes. did you start barefoot walking and have you uh, had any benefits of this wow man yeah we uh, i started barefooting when i came to in, came back to india and started living in the community and i started doing it because everyone was already doing it so here where we live in the, the there's lots of uh, wetness in the environment and like it rains a lot so if you whatever shoes you're wearing like it's the most comfortable is to be barefoot so if you're wearing flip flops or something you'll just slip <laughs> it's like it's just you just can't put your step properly and that's that that's how i started it was just an extension of like living in nature and it's 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 very very beneficial i would say it relaxes you so much like you feel connected with everything around you you get so much information with your feet you know like my feet has developed calluses so it's like another layer and it's so strong it's not hard at all it, it's like normal uh you know if you see it's like soft and nice there's no cracks nothing and um, it's just strong so it's like now i don't get hurt or anything you become so mindful of like you know your environment just uh, not even like putting in conscious effort but just walking around you're um, you know more aware of your surroundings you have more information of the surrounding you're connected with earth and then there's this circadian rhythm which is there in the planet you know which helps with your sleep cycle and everything uh, that you get in that you know vibration and energy then there's something called grounding which is that uh, which is scientifically proven so basically all our diseases they uh, happen because of uh, free radicals in our body so um, and from the earth we get negative electrons and then these free radicals are neutralized so these free radicals cause inflammation also in the body and um, i think it's it's an awesome thing to uh, you know take care of your health it's not like one thing that you do and then you never fall sick but it's just like you know how you get the sun how you eat good food how you to exercise i think barefooting is also something that adds a lot to the mental and physical health of uh, you know whoever is doing it so <laughs> so much uh, more i can talk about <laughs> yeah. so, but <laughs> that's uh, for the barefoot videos <laughs> yes so kartika what what are your future plans 
future plans okay first of all um to keep being my highest self and uh, to have the most beautiful energy for uh, every being and everything on the planet i think that's uh, that's the thing that i look at to you know uh, keep growing into uh, beauty uh if, uh, physically of course like food forest and like you know just working on the space that we have it's a very slow process when you're living off the grid so you know just uh, making sure that the space is growing as well and i'm able to nourish you know mother earth and uh, able to nourish other beings as well through the food that i create uh, you know grow um, and uh, through the um, through the space that i create you know uh she's so growing the space a lot expanding in that um uh then other things that i want to do of course is like the message of love that i have to you know share with the world because this is something that changed my life so i think the message that i got through louis hay who changed my life completely just through her book i can start crying <laughs> but but uh, can you like, can you name say, that book for our benefit yes yes it's called you can heal your life by by louis hay mm-hmm. yes so uh yes to uh, i'm a life coach you know and i have some programs that are going to be starting uh, also uh, with my friend we are planning so like being able to spread that you know how is it that you can change your inside and you can get more in like higher consciousness um that is happening to to like uh, also provide like all of this is going to benefit like the community as well for sure you know i want to give back to the community because it's given me so much um uh and then yeah of course keep creating con- content that is bringing in like you know love in people's lives through all social media channels i'm on lbry as well uh, which is a decentralized channel um uh, um to also probably work towards the growth of cryptocurrency because i think it's one of the one of a um, uh, very good medium to uh, you know get the power back to the people and uh, for resources to flow it's a, i'm sure you know about it so to give like some energy there there as well uh yeah that's it <laughs> i think that's quite a bit <laughs> yes so, so you're a very uh, spiritual person as well you do a lot of things to uh, heal yourself spiritually and uh, when whenever i meet a person who's uh, who's a little spiritual i ask them a lot of weird questions like uh, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, where do you think we'll go after we die um uh, actually i've had multiple experience of uh, going out of my body um so uh, we are spirits and then we have this body and then we leave the body and then we move on so for example you're on planet earth i don't know where you're going to go next i'm not sure uh, but like basically it's an onward journey into something something you know i think we've come to planet earth to evolve to have some experiences and to as i said to to uh, you know move more and more into unconditional love to release the, some things that i have like our ancestors and we have created through our past lives and <clears throat> um then like you know move on to something like some other reality you know <laughs> i don't know something exciting <laughs> like even this is very exciting <laughs> but uh, yeah something uh, something some other reality you know some other experience but yeah it's like uh, we never die it's an ongoing process you know okay and finally what do you think is the purpose of life uh experience i think uh experience we've come here to experience and uh if there's more to it to feel one with everything you know to feel connected to love uh, i think that's if we have that that's enough <laughs> as i said freedom is the uh, yes abundance to experience great things <laughs> i hope you get all of that and i want to thank you kartika for being on this uh, podcast thank you so much uh thank you so much pratham for uh, such a lovely interview for getting me here i'm very very grateful and i send you all my love and all the blessings everything and also uh, may all your dreams also come true i also want to send like lots of love and positive energy to everyone who's listening and uh, keep shining everyone <laughs> <laughs> thank you